Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So in this video I will show you how you can view and manipulate system logs using the journal ctl command. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you know in many CentOS and Red Hat like Linux based systems, the system and application logs are managed by the journal daemon so this daemon actually collects data and logs about your system and application that is running and using the command journal ctl you can actually view and manipulate these logs so the first command that you can use is just simply to type journal ctl or journal control so if you hit enter you will see a bunch of logs and by default the oldest entries will be at the top okay so if you want of course you can actually view page by page using your space button in your keyboard okay so i will quit using the q button in my keyboard here okay so i will clear the display so now if you want to see just the logs from the current boot you can actually use the journal ctl command with the b option so b stands for boot so here you will see just the logs that are running from the current boot okay you can of course see the boots that the journal ctl knows about using the command journal ctl dash dash list boots so here you can see that the journal ctl knows only about one boot that happens on june the 30 okay next so if you want to see just the logs uh, sorry just the logs concerning one actually service or unit you can use the command journal ctl okay minus u u stands for unit and here you can specify any unit or service that you want to get the logs of so here for example let's display the logs concerning the SSH D or SSH diamond here so here you will see just the logs corresponding to the SSH diamond okay so here you will see of course that it was uh, running on this hour here okay and the now that the open SSH server is listening on port 22 so you can use this command in order to filter just the system logs corresponding to specific unit okay another interesting command that you can use is actually to filter by priority so most of the time system admins actually want just to see the system logs corresponding to for example to the errors or critical errors so if you want to, to filter by just let's say errors so you can just type the option here minus p for priority then you can type what kind of priority you want so if you want to display just messages co corresponding to the errors you can just type here minus p and error so here you can see all the errors system logs corresponding to these errors here as you can see i have some problems here with my audio driver but it doesn't matter okay you can also filter for example by critical errors so it's always good to run this command from time to time in order to see what's going on under the hood in your server so fortunately i don't have any critical errors in my system okay another option that you can use with the general ctl command is if you want just to display 
some entries so if you specify the option minus n it will display by default the most 10 entries in your system logs because as you, you have seen the logs contains a lot of lines so sometimes you want just to see the most recent one so if you specify minus n it will display the most 10 recent entries in your system so it's always helpful to see the, the recent ones you can also specify how many entries using the same command but you have to add here at the end how many entries you want to see so let's say I want to see for example 20 I can just type the number 20 here and it will display the most 20 entries in my system logs okay and finally there is an option also that is really interesting if you want to see or to follow the logs that are being written live you can use journal ctl with the command f actually ctl minus f so f stands for follow so if you hit enter here you will see the logs that have been written live now okay so if you plug something or if something happened right now in your system you will see it because you are seeing live what's happening in your system so this is a very very interesting command that you must use every day in order to view what's happening in your system you can of course combine all these options I gave you so for example you can display the most 10 critical errors if you want or you can just combine different options for many services in order just to see what you are interested in so that was just a brief introduction to how you can use the general ctl command in CentOS and Red Hat like systems as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing Bye-bye.